what passive investing is, right? I mean, so so tell us a little bit about, you know, beside what are the investments classes which you deal in and what are the other investment classes, if you know of any, which are similar to what you deal in right now? Our company is very focused. That's kind of one of the things that we believe is our key to success is, is our focus. We we focus only on, like I said, Texas workforce housing, and our portfolio is primarily concentrated in Houston. So we're really focused on a limited uh, type of deal and location of deal. And that helps us both in the acquisition process because we, you know, we're experts in that realm. So it's easier for us to identify opportunities. And because we're focused, we have a better reputation and we have a strong relationships. So we also get to see better opportunities. So it helps on the acquisition side and it also helps on the operational side because we have that centralized portfolio. We're able to operate it better and we're able to be better experts in that. So, so focus is great for us. So that's at the moment what we're doing. Uh, but there's a lot of things that are similar and also provide different types of risk profiles and exposure. So what we do is we buy assets that have cash flow from day one. Uh, we're buying an existing asset, we're renovating it, we're improving its value, improving its cash flow, which, you know, those still can vary in risk. You could buy a property that's pretty stabilized and there's not much to do and that's lower risk, or you could buy a property that has a lot of work that needs to be done, but has a bigger opportunity to raise the income and raise the value. So we're kind of up and down that spectrum, but to go a step further, for example, you know, investors could invest in development to get a different risk profile where there's zero cash flow, but again, a larger opportunity to achieve higher returns. But again, of course, that comes with more risk. So there's always risk and return in everything and different profiles which lean more heavily towards cash flow or appreciation. So as an investor, you have to identify what are your goals, what are your preferences, risk tolerances, and then go out and try to find those deals that best fit your profile.